With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is: Explain with the help of balanced equation the brown ring test for nitric acid. So in this question, they are asking us to explain the brown ring test used for testing nitric acid. Okay, so let's suppose that we have given a solution and we don't know if it is uh, which solution it is. So to see if it is nitric acid, we use the brown ring test. Okay, so what do we do in brown ring test is? we take nitric acid or whatever solution we don't know what solution it is so we will take that unknown solution in a test tube and then we add freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution to it so first step is to uh, add nitric acid that is hno3 in test tube test tube so in this test tube you have to add freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution that is feso4 feso4 to the test tube third step is to add concentrated h2so4 to that test tube slowly by the walls of the test tube okay to add concentrated h2so4 slowly by the walls of the test tube because concentrated h2so4 is highly reactive so that's why we have to be careful and we have to add slowly by the a uh, walls of the test tube also in this uh, in this test a brown ring has to be formed so we need to ensure that uh, concentrated h2so4 is not getting totally mixed by uh, totally mixed with feso4 and hno3 because uh, this h2so4 layer will be formed like let's suppose this is a test tube okay so we have put in this we have put hno3 and feso4 and we have mixed this as well okay now Hi, uh, H2SO4 will be added like this slowly through the walls of the uh, test tube so that this HNO, uh, H2SO4 will form a layer on the top of this uh, uh, solution. Okay, so this will form a layer on the top of the solution and on the junction of this, on the junction of the two solution, this is the junction, right? This is the junction. So on the junction of this two solution, a brown ring will be formed. A brown ring will be formed so that is the brown ring test okay so the reaction that takes place is something like this feso4 reacts with h2so4 plus hno3 to give fe2so4 whole thrice that is ferrous sulfate uh sorry this is not ferrous sulfate this is fe2so4 whole thrice plus nitric oxide NO plus water is released. Okay, so if you balance this reaction, there will be 6 moles of FeSO4, 3 moles of H2SO4, 2 moles of HNO3 and in the product side, we will have 3 moles of Fe2SO4 whole thrice and 2 moles of nitric oxide and 4 moles of h2 so this is the whole reaction that takes place now what happens is when we add h2so4 to the solution and when this whole thing will react like when this whole uh, all these three solutions that will react after that there will be a formation of brown ring so what happens is this feso4 will react with nitric oxide that is pre uh, that is released by the reaction of all these three and it will react with water to give a com a whole compound that is FeNO H2O whole 5 SO4. Okay. So if you balance this reaction, you will have 5 moles of water on the reactant side. And now this complex is what is formed here as a brown ring. This complex is called hydrated nitrosoferous sulfate. Okay, the name of this complex is hydrated nitrosoferous sulfate. So, this is what is formed here as a brown ring. So, this is the whole brown ring test for nitric acid solution. So, that was the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.